The 1986 Bledisloe Cup in New Zealand, a triumph for Andrew Slack's Wallabies. We recall highlights later in tonight's program. Hello and welcome again to Sunday Night Rugby. We're at Ballymore today for New Zealand's third tour match against Australia B. As well, we have highlights of the exciting match against the Australian club champions, Ramwick. And that's where we begin tonight. New Zealand meeting an Australian club side for the first time in history. And Coogee Oval will never be the same. More than 9,000 fans jammed into the ground, and with me in commentary, Gary Pearce. Downtown Coogee, nestled in Sydney's eastern suburbs and home of the Galloping Greens. Coogee Oval, venue for this historic occasion. The New Zealand All Blacks taking on the Australian club champions, Ramwick. The first time the All Blacks have met an Australian club side, and it is standing room only. They are literally hanging from the rafters here at Coogee, a marvellous crowd, somewhere around 9,000, as we await the start of this great match in prospect. And those are blocks of units outside the ground, and uh, really, there are no spare vantage points here today. It really is a fantastic scene. A proud moment for Australia's premier club side, Ramwick containing six internationals, while a further four have played for New South Wales. David Campisi and Gary Ella are the only current members of the national team. Two men with huge responsibility are second rowers Tim Carver and Gary Logan, not tall by international standards, but both determined to reach new heights this afternoon. Well, I think Coogee's been invaded by Bondi this afternoon. A few hoots from the crowd as Ramwick take the field. But the all-black lineup contains all but two of the team that scored 106 points against Wales in the recent two-test series. The side has been ranked with the all-time greats and is a warm favourite to retain the Bledisloe Cup. And at least six members of this team are also ranked number one in the game in their positions. And there he is, a great stalwart for the Ramwick Club, Jeff Sale, the coach who's had a hip replacement operation recently. But uh, they say he has myrtle green blood. It's fantastic. He is what rugby stands for. And here's the moment the crowd's been waiting for. Wayne Shelford leading out this magnificent rugby team from New Zealand. Well, this ground is really buzzing with excitement and anticipation. And there's Simon Poitavan, who was under severe doubt after straining his medial ligament against Queensland only on Sunday. He was given no hope by the New South Wales physiotherapist, but a miraculous recovery. Wild horses would not have kept him away today. And David Campisi on the right wing as Brian Kinsey, about to signal the start. He's been or seen a lot of Ramwick over the years, but this is only his second encounter with the All Blacks, the last on the 84 Tour. So it's underway here at Coogee, and Piss taking the ball just 15 metres out from his goal line and some fierce rucking early on. And there's Bruce Deans using his 22, and we're 30 metres out from the New Zealand goal line. Very important for Ramwick to get that first bit of physical contact, put the All Blacks back on their, on their heels and really get up on top of them. Ramwick loved the play of the game, running onto the ball. 22, 39, 25. Well, Ramwick certainly has a height disadvantage in the lineout, but they've done well in the first one. There's Carver driving into Michael Jones. Ramwick trying to drive ahead, and they roll it well. They've split at the All Blacks. Lloyd Walker, he's put it high. Arthur coming through. 
John Kerwin couldn't take it. Ewan McKenzie, five metres out. Fantastic play there. There was the as Ramwick got the ball, the All Blacks were standing right up on him, expecting him to spin it, and the ball back in the box to Athura coming through. Great pressure. So now Sean Fitzpatrick, the Auckland hooker. Crucial line out, five metres out. Great start here by Ranwick. Big jump by Wetton. Bruce Deans. Ball back to number 14, Kerwin at halfback. And we're in the same position. Ranwick, that continual pressure. If they can get the All Blacks to be moving backwards, it really disrupts their game. Get the ball in behind them. 86, 21, 42, 86. Poitavin marking Michael Jones at the back. Bonham got a hand to it. Poitavin took it. Now they drive it. They're over the goal line. New Zealand pushed them back. It comes out for Walker again. Here's Gary Ella to Walker. Chat. No try. Lost over the goal line. 22. Some neat work there by Ramwick. Some good forward work by the get the ball up there. Ball's been worked very well by the forwards. The ball, Burke, comes out to Lloyd, comes around the loop, just pops it on his foot through, and they, go, they come straight through and very unlucky not to get the try. New Zealand certainly rattled in the early stages. Ramwick doing well in the lineouts. Bruce Deans putting everyone on side. Oh, good charge by Chelford. Deans to Fox. His shoe start. Straight through, beat the tackle of Carmont, Michael Jones, New Zealand looking for their first try, pass was forward. So both well. sides having chances in the early stages. Ramwick scrum has been impressive at club level, but they're in trouble. Brad Burke at the back. Picked up by Wetton. New Zealand slip it back. Grant Fox. Field goal attempt. First points. It's good. Some good lead-up work here. The crowd is pretty, pretty split on that decision. Good, very good goal by Fox there. Really, he doesn't miss many. Line out 3 2 to New Zealand so far, and there's another one for them. Good two handed catch in the middle. They try to roll it, Fitzpatrick. Deans. Fox goes the short side. Well caught by Burke. Kerwin now, and Arthura. Arthura clinging to him. Good tackling here from Ramwick. It's very physical, forcing the mistake. Well, some very good pressure from the from the Ramwick Baxter. The ball did come out to Fox, but he had no options out wide, so he had to come back to the line. Very good chasing by Brad Burke. Well, New Zealand certainly has a, a weight advantage in these scrums. Ramwick really going to have to fight hard to hold their ground. Michael Jones coming right round here. Burke drops back. Simon Portovan's been penalised there, going against a man without the ball. But this mighty goal kicker from New Zealand. 10 out of 10 against Wales in the second international at Eden Park. 45 metres out. Already one field goal. This his first penalty shot. Distance, no problem. Magnificent kick. This guy's amazing. He had something like 82% record in South Africa over, over there. Kicking there isn't, 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 uh, isn't easy. Well taken by Pierce. Ramwick drive it. Poitavin's there. Steve McDowell pulls him out of the way. But it was a very go. good drive there from Ramwick. They forced New Zealand back. And they have the scrum feed. Well, 
Ramwick not, not giving anything away there. There was there was black arms and green arms being pulled in all over the place. That they really got in there and wanted to get hold of it. And the experience of Point of it really showing through here at the moment. Better scrum from Ramwick. Here's Gary Yella to Walker. He's Campisi. Lovely running from him. Campisi. Electrifying play by, by Ramwick. Some great backline played shallow. Campisi on the burst. Fantastic play. The All Blacks at sixes and sevens. Walker's gone short side. Lloyd Walker, overlap. Try! Great try. Continual pressure. The ball in the hand did it. It was the ball in the hand from Campuzzi who put it on. But here we go. The ball goes out to Walker. And he really puts that pace on, that change of pace. And he beats Deans and he's dummy it over in the corner. And Gary, I'd say many of the Ramwick supporters would say that try was worth the admission price alone. It certainly is. I'm sure these buildings are going to stand it around here. <laughs> Jumping up and down. Very difficult kick here for Knox against the breeze. It's quite a stiff one. He knows this ground well. Scores are level. You can see here the scrum, the Ramwick players are really trying to hold the scrum, hold it. But great individual skills here by Lordy Walker. He puts the pace on dummies to Cohen and he's over in the corner. Great try. So they've closed the gates here at Coogee. They can fit no more people into the ground. A lot of disappointed spectators outside. And I guess they had to start approaching some of the unit owners around here. Punches from number one, McDowell. And offside play by Ramwick. Certainly was well taken by Kevin Borovich. The big North Harbour prop forward. 15 minutes of play gone, first half. Pretty good. Lovely stroke of the ball by Grant Fox. So he's shown that he can kick them from anywhere here today. Central Remick puts pressure on that pack and gives a bad ball to him. Bonham at the back to Poitaman. Walker, Carmont, running hard at New Zealand in close. Good second phase possession. Walker again. Pass wasn't good. Here's Knox outside. David Knox! Arthura to Burke. And I wonder if Knox should have just kept going there. It's a good understanding there. The ball came back. Lordy Walker had it round his leg, up underneath his legs. Came it back and Knox on the burst. And uh, the All Blacks are starting to look at Ramwick, run at them. Ramwick won't want to be stuck in too many of those uh, scrums for too long. They want to be getting the ball around the paddock. Brad Burke in there tackling with Poitavan. Trying to hold New Zealand. McDowell says, let's reel it now and roll it. But great work there by Ramwick. And a penalty has gone to the Greens. And that is frustration for New Zealand. Well, Brad Burke just did just brought down Shelford, which which in the whole 160 minutes of play against Wales, the whole Welsh team couldn't do. So he just got in there and got hold of him before he even got any momentum up. With a little bit of help from Simon Point of it. Yes. <laughs> Offside play against Ramwick. Coming straight through the lineouts. Grant Fox says, this will do me, sir. Fox looking for his third straight penalty goal. This one's 39 metres out and 15 off centre. Yeah. 
New Zealand by six. This man is poetry in motion. Cut back by Pierce. Bonham the tackler on Deans. New Zealand trying to roll it. Port Evans there again, spoiling. Number six, Chelford trying to reap his head back. And I didn't think you were allowed to tackle above the shoulders. Pretty cheap shot by Chelford, I think. Kick off a little deep that time from Knox. Wet and cleared it quickly to Deans. Now it's Shelford through Point Evans tackle. Michael Checker went round the hips though to pull him to ground. Or strong rucking. Fox cut out here for right. This is Schuster. David Knox back there. He's gone back over the goal line. Campisi, that was daring. Pass was forward, five meter scrum. Can Ramwick hold on here? Well, as I said, it's at Ramwick in the last five minutes, but uh, the All Blacks are pretty good at this as well, and uh, that's when they were really starting to this pressure. The street outside the ground, would you believe? There must be uh, five or six hundred people out there. I think the word's getting round that Ramwick's doing pretty well here. <laughs> Shelford controlling again. Here's the big push. Shelford goes short. He's very close. <laughs> Knocked it away. <laughs> try. The try has gone to New Zealand. Scored by that man, Alan Wetton who scored a try or averaged a try in every World Cup game last year. It really had to happen. The power of the All Blacks here in the set play. Ramwick really trying to hold on after defending for a while. The scrum comes around. They push over the top of the ball. It's won by Ramwick and Wetton scores. Lovely kick. The half-time bell goes. And there it is at the break. 12 points, New Zealand's way. New Zealand 18, Ramwick must get back to believing their style of game. When they really believe in it, nothing can stop them. It's only when they start to doubt it, they get themselves into trouble. Shelford, not in straight, says the referee. Well, some of New Zealand's throws have been borderline into the line outs. I think the referee's finding it a bit hard to settle down in this match as well. There's been a few decisions which, uh, which I think are upsetting some of the players. Point Evans in there to save the day. Ramick in a bit of trouble at the base of the scrum. Now they tried to drive New Zealand back. And they're doing it pretty well, but the Kiwis come away. Deans probing. Where's the support for him? Ramwick pilfered the ball in the tackle as they can. Here's Shelford. Got away from Bonham's tackle. Here they go, Alan Wetton. A real avalanche here. Deans to Shelford. They won't stop him. Try. Oh, great New Zealand try. Tremendous disciplines there in the New Zealand pack. The way they drove onto it. Shelford two or three times in the move. But every time he got it, he was pushing past, pushing through players. Mm -hmm. Ball starts from the scrum, Ramwick scrum. Ball comes back, still getting upset. The All Blacks have wheeled Ramwick. The ball gets fractured. Simon Portevin goes in and takes the ball, driving it forward. The Ramwick players come in behind, but they've got their, got in there. They've got Simon's fingers. It's hard to pull them back. They've got the balls come out over the top. Good straight running here by Deans, and he raised it off very well to the rest of his forwards as they come over the top. And Ramwick nearly take the ball there. But again, that uncompromising want for the ball. Shelford's power, pushing through another player. Maybe he comes again, closes it off to Wet. Another clean out, the pack's clean out. And again to Shelford here is just too much power and strength that goes over in the corner. So New Zealand 
in a very sound position now. Grand Fox from touch. And he's very close, but not quite this time. So a 16-point lead for New Zealand. See the power here. The ball with Shelford again pushes through Bonner. Straight ahead, still going, keeps the ball available. The ball goes to wet. Watch the clean out by the All Black Pack. They just clean green jumpers right out of the way. Ball's exposed. Shelford on the burst, running straight over the top. Great try. Twenty-two points to six. New Zealand in control. Knox not finding touch. That may have been the plan. Gallagher attacks now. Knox again. Here they go. Stanley, he's been quiet. This is Kerwin and Arthur. Through one tackle. Flash of heads. Steve McDowell's there. Deans to Fox. Now it's Stanley in the open. Chilford's inside. But Joe ran out of partners. Campisi in for the tackle. New Zealand threatening here. Michael Jones to Kerwin. Back to Jones. He knocked on. And the referee will play the first one. 21 minutes gone. Second half. New Zealand losing it this time. Jones goes in there. This is Borovic, the prop forward. Carver number four, the tackler. But New Zealand on a roll here. Shelford goes in. It pops out now. Jones will come off his shoulder here. Take the ball up the middle. Bonham's waiting for him. Schuster. Gallagher didn't want it. This is Stanley. Knockback says the referee. Stanley not releasing. Not releasing the ball. And I think David Knox could have a shot for goal here. What are they going to do? 38 metres out. The crowd will tell you the story. Anything you can do, Grand Fox, I can do just as well. Because Lloyd Walker's really straightening play up and giving these outside backs opportunities. Deans just chipping into space. Knox, fly kick. Here's Fox. Gallagher looms to right. Come on the tackler. Michael Jones barreled by bottom. Alan Wetton sets up. Deans to Fox. Stanley. Stanley goes himself and is well caught. Dead pilot. Knocks here to us. The third inside. Superb play and counter from Ramwick. Ramwick will never give up. They'll just keep chasing that ball. They'll keep running onto it. Poitavin's leaving the field. Simon Poitavin cannot continue. But if there were cups handed out for courage, he'd win them by the ton this afternoon. All Blacks have spoiled. Now they move it. Where's the ball? Fox. Knox is underneath. A test for him. Schuster. Gavin Bottom back there, covering superbly. So is Arthura, but he didn't release. And an altercation there between the Western Samoan and the Fijian, Michael Jones and Arthura. That's right. No mistake from Grant Fox. He kicks his fourth penalty, and 16 points would seem a little too far now for the Galloping Greens. They really have Ramwick at their mercy here. Looking for their third try. They've all gone right. Gallagher goes left. Shelford controls, delaying the release. Shelford. Bottom trying to couple and throw. Jones piles in. So does Checker. Here they go. Bruce Deans to Jones. Long pass. Kerwin. John Kerwin. Five metres out. Now it's Borovic. 
Rich. play there by the All Blacks. No team has been able to stop them a metre out. Chilford. He went to ground. Double movement. A double movement. He went to ground and then didn't release it. Please. Judge it for yourself here. Number eight, forward. Wayne Shelford. They clean out. They take the breakaway out. And he gets tackled. He's tackled there. Then he tries again. Still an opportunity here for Ramwick to try and really show what they're about. Get the ball out wide. Get the backing up going. But then you're just sure on the, the All Blacks aren't going to let them do it. Sean Fitzpatrick, number two. Wetton at the back. Well taken by his brother Gary, and look at him charge. Good tackle by Carmont. Control from New Zealand. Big overlap again. Stanley. Terry Wright. This is surely a try. Wait the way. Well, the writing was on the wall for Ramwick. Now there's a touch judge report on the far side. The touch judge report on the far side. It looks as though the try is being disallowed. New Zealand rucking a man. Number nine. Watch Pushes it. forward. He rucks a man on the ground. The ball goes wide. Running straight onto the ball. Right, just too much pace for the railway cover. He goes over for a try. But the try's been disallowed. Well, that decision will certainly upset New Zealand. And that's it. The match is all over. The All Blacks have down Ramwick. A gallop, galloping Greens outfit this afternoon by 25 to 9. And the Ramwick team getting a great ovation. They are the world champions and they had their world champion side out here today. Uh, I'm very pleased with the way the boys went. Possibly there are a few opportunities we had that we didn't take. But, you know, that's rugby, and uh, I think all the guys tonight can feel well, well and truly pleased with themselves. Yes, uh, what about that torrent of black jerseys that kept coming at you all day? Some great tackling from the Greens. We promised ourselves before the match that we, we wouldn't turn it up if they came at us. They came at us probably 10 minutes into the game in the whole of that second half, and it is a bit like a wave, but the guys in green were just magnificent. They tackled everything that moved in a black jersey, and I think the All Blacks know they're in a match this afternoon. And what a fantastic promotion at Coogee Oval and full marks to match organiser John Howard and his small army of volunteers.